Hello, hello, everybody. This is Milky. Welcome back to another tips video for Story of Season Pioneer of Olive Tongue. Thanks a lot for all the comments on the last video that let me know that you'd love to see a video of how to use mushroom and honey to make money. So today I'll cover all the details about it. As far as I know, it's the best way to make money in game. And there are days I made 200,000 gold a day by selling mushrooms and honey. And I'll share with you how I did it. So let's get started! Before we start our mushroom and honey farm, we first need to unlock it. So in order to unlock the mushroom lock, we first have to unlock this area too. And then you will find a broken mushroom lock in the wild. And you need to fix that one first in order to buy more. So after you fix the first mushroom lock, you will be able to buy it from Nigel, which I will show you guys later. And once you unlock area 3, which is where we are right now, you'll be able to find a broken beehive in the wild. And you need to fix that broken beehive first before you can start honey making. Because honey and the mushroom farming make so much more money than the other activities in game, in order to get rich faster, I would definitely recommend that early in game, try to focus on unlocking the area 2 and the area 3 and fixing these two things as soon as possible. I did got questions asked in the comments about once we unlocked our first mushroom lock and the beehive, how do we get more? So we need to go to Nigel's shop and you can select the first option where he will give you choices to buy more mushroom logs and the more beehive. So the maximum amount of mushroom log and beehive we can have in our farm is 20. I'd recommend as soon as you unlock it, trying to get some money and buying the mushroom logs whenever you have $2,000. Yes, it does feel like it's a lot early in the game, but it will definitely make you so much more, so it's a great early game investment. A small tip to be careful is, remember to count how many logs and beehives you already have in the farm before you buy new ones. For example, I already have 20 logs in my farm, Nigel will still allow me to buy new ones, but even if I bought them, I won't be able to put it down my farm because the, the maximum amount we can have is 20 and it will just give me a message saying that I already reached maximum amount. And you just have to sell the extra ones which makes you lose money, so be careful with that. The next thing I want to show you guys is all the mushrooms that we can grow in Olive Town. There's in total 6 types of mushrooms. The first 3 types are pretty easy to unlock. And in the early game, the most profitable mushroom to grow is definitely this pinkish mushroom and I will show you guys where to find it. It's around the mining area in area 3. So as soon as you are able to fix the bridge in area 3 and access the gold mine, you will be able to find this wild mushroom. When you first find it, please please remember to sell one of the wild mushroom, which will unlock the general store to start selling the mushroom seeds for it. And once you get this, I would suggest never grow the previous three again un unless you need it for cooking. Just focus on gro growing this pink one because it's the most profitable. In early game, you probably will grow the, this pinkish mushroom for the longest time and later in game, you will be able to unlock a really rare mushroom called Matsutaki that's the most profitable and the most expensive mushroom as you can see, it's also Yori's favorite item. So once you grow it, Yori will love you. The reason this mushroom is so hard to unlock is because in order to unlock it, you need to reach level 9 of wood cutting in order to get the sprite to take you to a secret area where there's tons of wood and you'll be able to find Matsutaki there. I'll also show you guys the location for this. But in most of the game, I mainly just grow this pinkish mushroom and Matsutaki. Now, let me show you guys where to find our pinkish mushroom. So, this is area 3 and this is our gold mine. And ta-da! Here's our little pink mushroom. So, once you get it, please please remember to sell the first one. And then to get to the Matsutaki, you can see first that I already reached the level 9 of woodcutting. Then all I need to do is talk to my sprites, go to the woodcutting mountain or lumberjack mountain. And where there's tons of woods growing year round and uh, it's a great late game area where we can cut, cut tons of trees super conveniently. And ta-da! Oh, it might be a little bit hard to see. Let me cut down some of the trees to show you guys where it is. Here we go! This is our Matsutaki. So we can get some wild... This is the only place that wild Matsutaki grows and there's no season limit. So as soon as you unlock this area, remember to pick up your Matsutaki and sell the first one you found. 
Now that we talk about what's the most profitable mushroom to grow, let me show you guys my day-to-day -day mushroom farm life. So usually I still grow some pink mushrooms because I have the 10 star pink mushroom here. And usually after I get my high quality mushroom, I use them to make new seeds. So after my mushroom growing skill reached level 10, I was able to unlock this huge mushroom seeds machine. And all I do is I put high quality mushrooms into it and it will allow me to make even higher quality mushroom seeds. Because the normal mushroom seeds you buy from the general store is always zero star. So in order to get higher quality mushroom, you want to keep um, putting high star mushroom and make them into seeds and then regrow them. And eventually, you will be able to get like 10 star mushrooms like what I did. They will sell for a lot more. And as you level up uh, your mushroom growing skills, you will be able to get more mushrooms from the log. You can see right now I'm getting 4 mushrooms from the log instead of the usual 3. And each mushroom is actually sold more too as you level up. So it's a great skill and you just make more and more money as you level up. Now that I get all my mushrooms done, uh, I have a little chest here that just stores all the things that's convenient. I do recommend buy tons of mushrooms from the general store. Your mushroom matures every 4 days, so you definitely want to be prepared for tons of mushroom seeds. And then I will save some high quality mushrooms here so I can make them into seeds and grow even better ones next time. So for example, this time I got 3 bags of uh, mushroom seeds that has 7 star. So next time when they grow it, it, they should come out, they should be able to grow like 10 star mushrooms. Once I get one 10 star Matsutaki, I will be able to make seeds out of it and start growing tons of 10 star mushrooms. So slowly, um, my goal is my whole mushroom farm will use 10 star seeds and the, all the mushrooms I grow will come out with the highest quality so I can make the max amount of money out of them. So right now I'm just putting down all the seeds, even though it does take month, uh, take a few times today, but we only need to do this every 4 days, so um, as far as I feel like, it's uh, it definitely takes less time than farming and makes more money. Ta-da! Now that I got all my mushrooms, I'm going to show you guys how much I make today just by selling all the mushrooms I got right in front of you guys. I already make 132,000 gold. That is amazing. And I haven't started selling my honey yet. So let's go to our honey sections. For honey making, the process is a little bit more complicated than mushroom because we first need to grow flowers. Of course, you can also get flowers from the wild or directly buy it from the flower shop from Nigel. But I prefer to grow my own flower because you can see, as I level up my farm, even if I just put down zero quality seeds, the, the flower I grow out of it is a 6 star. And having high star flower when we make mushrooms will help us Oh, when we make honey, will help us making higher quality honeycombs. And when we later process those honeycombs into honey, it will be even higher level. So far for me, because I'm at pretty high level scale for farming and honey making, I would be able to make 10 star honey each time by just, by just putting the flower in. And here we go, my flower, my honey is also mature today. I'd suggest later in game, you can keep your mushroom and the honey mature day in sync. So you have one big day where everything is matured and you get tons of money out of it. So for honey making, we first need to put the flower into the beehive like this. And then after four days, they will be matured and you can take it out. And I will be able to get the honeycomb from here. And then you need to build the honey processor. So after putting the honeycomb into the processor, waiting for an one hour and ta-da, you get the you get the honey out of it. Oh, I was actually wrong. I can't get 10 star yet. Seems like with my current honey making skill, when I put a 6 star flower in, I'll be able to get 8 star beehive and that will give me 8 star uh, honey out of it. So I'm just going to put down tons of beehives and then put the flower in. Yes, there's more process than the mushroom because we after we get in the beehive and 
And ta-da! This is so super lucky. I can't believe I leveled up to honey making level 10 while I was talking to you guys. This is amazing and the perfect moment. So now that I reached the honey making level 10, the quality of my beehive will become even better and my I won't feel tired or cause stamina when I do honey making. Also, the money that my honey sales will be better and the honeys I get out of the beehive ta-da! will become 4 instead of 3 so that will massively increase the money we make per flower. This is definitely a great way to make money. And there's different type of honey too so I will show you guys a little bit later once I finish this row. Here is my little honey box. You can see I put my flowers and the honeys here. So based on different type of beehives, you will be able to make different type of honeys. There's the red jar, the orange jar, and the green jar. And the most expensive one that you can make is this white jar which is called royal jelly. Royal jelly is definitely the best and the most profitable honey you can make in game but there's only one flower that you can use to make it which is this flower called hellebore in order to unlock hellebore you actually need to reach first year winter and then you'll be able to find hellebore in the wild in area 3 and then you can do what milky did which is growing hellebore on my farm you can see in winter i grow tons of hellebores in my farm just because i want to make sure that i have enough flowers throughout the years to make honey from Ta-da! yeah i definitely recommend grow tons of them in order to have tons of honey made from this type of flowers. The sad thing is hellebore only grows during winter so I'd recommend to do what I did which is store tons of hellebore so even during spring or summer you'll be still be able to have some excess hellebores to continue making honey. And you might ask what if I haven't reached first year winter yet? Then I would definitely recommend this black rose. Before you unlock hellebore in winter, black rose is definitely the most profitable flower that you can do and it also makes a lot of money by using it to make honey and if you haven't unlocked both of them yet then i would suggest uh, try all different kinds of flowers because different flowers generate different type of honeys and there's dishes that requires a specific type of honey so i would recommend to try all different kinds of uh, flowers to make sure that you get all type of honeys and then after you get uh, maybe 10 of each you can focus on just black rose and the hellebore to make the money Ta-da! I finished putting all the flour in and take the already finished the honey out. And you can see usually I will still have some honeycomb left because I get 4 honeycomb out of each beehive. And for one honey processor, I will be able to put in one honeycomb. So usually I still have some honeycomb left. So if you want to make even more money, you can don't sell these honeycombs and just wait until this honey processor finish and then put in a new round of them. Or if you want, you can make an even bigger uh, honeycomb honey farm where you put down more honey processing machines and then process all of them at the same time. But it, it definitely will take a lot of space. But if it makes you money, it's probably worth it. And let's take a look at how much I can make by just selling the honeys. So I'm going to sell the honeys and the honeycombs I collected. And ta-da! You can see even though I didn't process all the honeycombs into honey and I already could make 230,000 gold just in one day which is absolutely amazing even in late game. And I just want to show you guys how much I make for each royal jelly. So for this one, I'll be able to make 1,900 gold which is pretty good and before processing is 1,500. So there's 400 difference on Maybe it matters to you early in game, but for late game, um, if you don't want to spend too much time, just sell it. It also works. You can see with this rate, making tons of money in winter is definitely not hard and you can probably buy whatever materials you want from the general store pretty easily. Like I stopped growing things like animal crops and all that because it's cheaper to just buy them from the general store and growing flowers and do mushroom growing than any other crops that you'll be able to grow during winter. 
And that's it for our today's late game money making video. I definitely hope you guys find this mushroom and honey making tips helpful. And please, please let me know if there's any other tips you're interested in. For example, if you're curious how to unlock some areas, or if you're curious how to unlock this unicorn that I'm riding around with, please let me know and I'd love to share them with you. And if you're enjoying my tips videos, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm I'm planning to make more tips videos for all of town since you guys really seem to like it and I got a lot of likes and comments and just want to thank you guys so so much for your support and special thanks for my awesome patreon donors you guys are the absolute best and as always I'll see you guys next time